Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that is unique and something that I have not seen discussed too much and that is the ancient and grand palaces of India. Now what makes these so interesting to me is the lack of history that we have for many of these palaces. Um, other buildings around the world you'll find an architect, you'll find a date given of construction, and most of the time you'll find a reason for the construction. But with these palaces, many of them have no information given about the construction, and furthermore the history of the palaces themselves only begins when European travelers arrive to India and document the palace. So before that the history is either convoluted or not there. Now, some of these palaces are almost 1,000 years old and nearly all of them, I'd say about 95% of them, are at least 200 years old, meaning in the context of the reset, nearly all of these palaces are pre-reset. When researching these palaces, I quickly came upon many attributes of them that were striking to me and first of all the antiquitech or the old world energy harnessing equipment you can see those on nearly all of the palaces um, they are documented as ornamentation and just for show just for look but as we've come to realize from this type of historical research uh, they probably served a higher purpose one that we can't even begin to really fathom at this level now another interesting thing about these palaces when you first dive into them is you'll find that many of them are built in very precarious locations the ones that really struck me most are these first few which are the lake palaces or palaces that are seemingly built right in the middle of a lake. Um, now I'm not exactly sure how this is possible and I can relate this to some of my other videos including the Columbia Wrightsville Bridge where you have a basically a structure built in the middle of water and it's built on top of some sort of ancient platform or some sort of base that appears to be of an entirely different material from a different time period than the structure that's actually sitting on top of it. So you'll see a lot of these lake palaces in India are sitting on a base that appears to be large blocks of stone that do not match the palace that is actually on top. Very interesting to me and seemingly impossible.
so that brought me to the Guelier Fort, which not only has some remarkable palaces, but also has some nearly inconceivable stone carvings that I had never come across before. In my opinion, these stone carvings, which were created in the side of mountains, much like the Middle Eastern lost city of Petra, are dedications and almost displays of the technology of our ancestors. it appears to depict a sort of godly out of this world figure which when compared to the other figures shown beside it is immense and enormous and towers over the smaller beings these beings in the stone carvings could be who created these masterpieces of these palaces So I'm just going to wrap up the video with a few more depictions of the awesome palaces of India. What is interesting about the following palaces and monuments is that they appear like they could be directly out of other parts of the world. For example, you could tell me this building was in Belgium or Russia or South America and I would not be shocked. Yet this is an Indian building that was built in India just like the rest of the palaces shown here somewhere from 150 to 1000 years ago. Now, these palaces all have forms of antiquitech or ornamentation that we cannot figure out what it was used for. These palaces all show signs of mud flood or being dug out from below to reveal the palace. And these palaces all have similar architecture to the same architecture that we see being used around the world at this time period 